Welcome to Camp Corona Day 53, a virtual, imaginary vacation land. Now, some of you careful viewers might have noticed that Day 52 and Day 53 are both being posted on the same day. That was because of a technical issue Day 52 was actually recorded on day 52 as it should have been, but did not get to the YouTube channel until today. So today, as always, we have five activities for you. Number one, you may have heard about this. This week I've been reading quite a lot about people regrowing their kitchen scraps into plants that they can then eat. Now, you might remember quite a while ago, I talked about trying to get my avocado pit to grow. I'm gonna have to throw it out. It never did anything. So that would be a failed experiment. I'm not sure if it was the kind of avocado or a bad pit or what. But this, I'm really looking forward to being able to share with you. This is the end of a celery stalk. And if this works, it will grow roots out of the bottom and send new stalks of celery out of the top. And I'll have celery for my breakfast, not tomorrow probably, but maybe in a week. But I'm gonna let you know how that works. So I'm excited about that food from scraps. Number two, write in your journal five things you did, five things that you didn't do, five things that you wanted to do. So I would write in my journal shocking news that yesterday was the only day in 53 days that Camp Corona was not on YouTube the day it was filmed. On the other hand, that's not a bad record. Okay, number three, Camp Corona Catalog. Remember the Camp Corona Catalog. So today I'm going to be advertising, remember when I took the ivy and wove it into, it's kind of like basket weaving, I just call this trivet weaving. And here is the catalog page for Ivy Tribbet, Tribbet, one size, eight inches round, made of ivy branches, cost 53 cents. Number four, you have all out there in your own little Camp Coronas been doing a lot of artwork. And I'd like to suggest that you find a part, a wall in your cabin to set up an art gallery. Type in your artwork to the wall, if it's pictures or having little stands, if it's sculptures. And for each piece of artwork, you put the name of the artist, the name of the piece, the date it was done, and you'll then have a gallery. So I think that that would be a really good way to put together all of the artwork you've been doing. And finally, connect it with your gallery. Once you get it all up, I think it would be a good idea if you made a video tour of your gallery, explaining the art to us, because many museums and galleries these days, when the galleries and museums are closed, are having virtual tours of their artwork. And that would be a great thing for you Camp Corona people to do. So send me your ideas. Let me know your activities. Happy camping.